it's your girl z here welcome back to my channel welcome to a new vlog don't mind me i look very crusty um it's wedding week y'all it is wedding week we are exactly seven days away from my wedding um right now it's like three o'clock it's 3 30 so this time next week i will be getting my dress on all of that getting ready to walk down the aisle so this video is going to be a wedding prep week um really it's going to be half the week because we leave on wednesday um but i figured let me let me show y'all all of the last minute things that i am doing so like i said today is sunday um i just finished washing my bundles <laughs> because i get my hair done tomorrow i am using the same bundles that i used in um that i had in in the video that i posted with me taking my sewing down back in like february from when we um went to do our site visit and i had my hair trial and all of that these are the exact same bundles um i got so many questions um about where the hair was from and i told you guys um i replied back to you guys that i had bought it directly from the girl who did my hair she is doing my hair again tomorrow so i will um plug her information in in the morning when i go get my hair done um because i had a ton of people asking like oh my gosh where did you purchase the hair from um and i just was like replying with either like her instagram or saying that i bought it directly from her um so yeah, I'm excited to tell her that I had so many people interested in the hair that I was wearing. So y'all, when I took that hair out of my head, I literally, because I, y'all remember Sean was like being very careful when he was cutting it out of my hair. One, so that he didn't cut my hair, but also two, so I could reuse that hair. Because y'all, I paid like... 600 almost 700 dollars when i got my hair done the first time um for my trial and that was because again i bought the bundles from her she only charges like two something to do an install so i was like oh i'm reusing this hair because i'm not about to <laughs> i'm not buying this hair again um for me to i have only i had it only in my hair for i don't remember how many weeks but it wasn't long so when i took it out i saved it i literally have it like sectioned off so i had the like the longer bundles because i think i did a 22 24 26 i think that's what i did um so i have the longer ones over here and then i have all of the short pieces like i kept it very organized okay so um i just got finished washing those they are sitting out here to dry um and so what I'm about to do is finish up my last like little DIY project I decided to do last minute. Oh, the light is super bright right there. Um, I decided to do this last minute. I saw um, a girl on TikTok who had a destination wedding um, and she put these in her welcome bag. And I was like, oh my gosh, those are so cute because I was already buying these. Um, these are like the little key card holders and then you put the thing on it so that people can um, put their keys in here. It's waterproof so if like you know people want to just take this to the pool they can. But I wanted to make them personalized. So I, like I said I saw this on Twitter. Not Twitter. Lord TikTok. Ciao. And what she basically did is she just made can y'all see this she just personalized them so it just says welcome the guest names and then this is one of our logos so i literally just decided to do this this past week i went and got um cardstock paper from um office depot and i just printed them here at the house and then um i went to michael's and bought a little cutter so that i could get the measurements right <laughs> And that they were all like even and stuff and so i just need to finish cutting some of them um and then putting them in the thing i'm not gonna put all of the wristlet things on there until we get there because it's gonna take up a lot of space um so i want to be able to just pack them like compact like this like they came um once i have all of the personalized cards in there but again it was just another last minute diy i decided to do just to add a little more 
personal touch on it um like i said these are gonna go in the welcome bag so just really like them seeing it says like welcome and then their name on it it's gonna be super cute and then like i said it has our um one of our logos on it if y'all can see it says destination poke sean and Denise. so that is what i'm about to finish doing now i am somewhat packed up here is one of my suitcases right here. Um, Sean is pretty much packed up. He stayed up till like 3 a.m. last night packing up all his stuff. Um, and then we just have one more suitcase over at my mom's house that has all of like our decor stuff that we're going to be taking. Um, and we're actually going to go grab that from her house tonight. So yeah, like I said, we are down to the wire. So tomorrow I get my hair done as well as my toes. And then Tuesday I have my wax appointment. Um, and my nail appointment and Tuesday we will also be doing our legal ceremony as a little fun fact if you plan to do a destination wedding and you want to legally get married in the country that you're going to it is a whole process um, so initially we decided just you know our ceremony there is going to be symbolic um, but legally we are getting married on what is going to be our six year anniversary which is july 18th so yeah that's a little tidbit that most people don't know about destination weddings like majority people who do destination weddings um unless they are like a citizen of that country like say if you were born in jamaica and you know you want to go get married in jamaica you technically because you're a citizen you would just have to get i think your partner's citizenship i don't know how that works because i i'm not mm -mm. but most people most couples have like their civil legal ceremony in the states um like a week or two before they leave for their destination wedding so that is what we are doing so that's why I have to get like all of my stuff done between today, I mean tomorrow and Tuesday morning. Because Tuesday evening we will have our legal ceremony and then Wednesday we are out of here. And we did it like that because Sean wanted, Sean was very particular about us legally getting married on our actual anniversary. Which is like I said July 18th. So yeah he was very particular about that. Um, and also we have to be able to travel with a copy of our marriage license that's signed it doesn't have to be the official marriage certificate or whatever but it just has to be a copy of our marriage license saying like hey we are actually married y'all can perform this symbolic ceremony or whatever so that is that like i said whoo i feel like i've been running my mouth <laughs> just had to catch y'all up i look absolutely crazy but it is all right um, i cannot believe we are down to the So yeah, I'm about to finish up these room key card thingies and I'll probably check back in here with y'all in a little bit. I need to, I've been putting this off all day and I was like, well, I'm done with my hair stuff now. Let me actually do this stuff. And I'm going to show y'all. They are super easy. I just literally printed them out on cardstock paper. Um, yeah, I only have four sheets left and it's like six on each one. So I got about 24 more to do, which isn't bad. So I'm going to get started on this. Home hanging on my neck. The bracelet matches a set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would have went corporate. She wish I would have went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. Chef Lee, boy, I'm on back. They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met. You know I gotta bring the set. You know I gotta bring the G block. You know I gotta bring the D block. Cause you know how sticky it get. Hey. You know how sticky it get. Hey. You know how sticky it get. Hey. Good morning, y'all. It is. 8.58 and I am walking into my hair appointment. Oops. Um, I'm so tired. I didn't go to bed till like almost one last night. But we move. So let's go get this hair done. What's 
what's up y'all so it is 1 30 and i'm finally done my hair looks so good i'll have um all of like elena's information down below in my description box but she killed it again so i'm super happy i did a versatile sewing this time um so that way i can have a side part as well as oh hold on a middle part um because as y'all know for our wedding we are doing a welcome party the day before our wedding and i didn't want to wear my hair the exact same um that is going to be for like the wedding so I'm probably going to do the middle part for the welcome party and then switch it back to a side part for the wedding. So, yeah, got a super versatile sewing. Absolutely love it. It looks so good. It's not a ton of leave out, which I also didn't want because y'all know it's Mexico. It's hot. It's humid. Um, so, I do have like a track. Hold on. I'll probably show y'all better when I get home. But I do have a track like right here. So, it's not a ton of leave out like all of this isn't my leave out like there is a track in there too so i really appreciated that so yeah i'm about to grab something to eat because i have not eaten all i had today was this damn green juice and like i said my appointment was at 9 is 1 30 so i am starving so i'm gonna grab something to eat and then head to the nail place so i can get my toes done um i get my nails done tomorrow with nini so i'm just gonna get my toes done today and then I need to go to my mom's house because my backup my backup table numbers came because the ones that I originally ordered like last month, I did order them from AliExpress and I know AliExpress takes a long time, have not came yet. So Prime Day I had to like panic buy some table numbers from Amazon and they actually just got delivered to my mom's house because I thought they might have came after we left so I got them shipped to her house but they actually came early so glad that I got those so I'm gonna go grab those so that I can pack those up in our bag and take us take them with us so yeah I'm gonna go get my toes done and then go to mom Duke's house so first let's find something to eat because again starving oh shit I need to go to Walmart because I need to get some more tape and I need to get some super glue. I need to eat first. I'm sorry. I got to eat first. So let's find something to eat. Okay. So I just decided to come to Walmart first because it was on my way out. I would have passed it leaving. So we're here. I really just need to get packing tape. And like I said, some... Um, what is it super glue because one of our things that i ordered off of etsy for the wedding came but it was broke and they said they were sending me another one i told them i needed it by today but i haven't gotten it so so i'm just gonna get some super glue so i can super glue it just in case it doesn't come my hair looks so good. So long. All right, let me find what I need to find and get out. Okay, y'all. I'm home. And I should have waited to go to Walmart because what did I come home to? The package that I was saying that didn't come yet <laughs> for the one little piece. And I'll show y'all. But I was in the bathroom. I had to use the bathroom because Lord knows I was holding my pee. <laughs> Um, but this is what my hair looks like, y'all. She does such a good job. The hair is so good because it literally just like, you can't tell what's my hair and what's not my hair. Um, but what I was telling y'all in the car is, so I have a track right here so that I didn't have to leave out a ton of my hair but you can see right here this is my hair so that i can do my middle part so i don't want to mess up my hair but as you can see that's um my versatile sewing so that i can wear my middle part for the welcome party and then switch it up and do my side part for the wedding because y'all know i'm a middle part girly okay and the last time i had my hair like this 
I got so tired of wearing a side part for however many weeks I had that sewing and I was like oh my god this side part is killing me so I love the fact that um I did the versatile one so I can switch it back and forth now but oh yeah so the package came with the whoa it just got hella dark the package for the broken little piece came oh, I need to take my vitamins because I have not eaten at all today I'm low-key I should still keep it because Lord knows if another one breaks and I don't think it was them it just these things are so like thin I'm gonna show you so basically our seating chart is a champagne wall so I got the little tags to go on the drinks for everybody and it has their name with their table number so like I said the rest of them that came were fine this one just slightly broke but you can see it's like gold mirror oh I gotta take all of these off yeah, that's going to be a, um, dang, I packed that stuff up too. I just realized that I may have to do this tonight because I'm not going to want to do this in freaking Mexico. And I need my little, like, um, cricket thing to do it. I don't even know if I could pack that because it might be a weapon. But what I was, it's not a weapon, but it has, it's a sharp edge. But I'm talking about these little like film things that come on it. So you see it has the person's name and then it has their table number and they go on the champagne glasses. So let me just show y'all what it'll look like. And I don't wanna actually do this one, but it'll go on the champagne glass like that. So they grab their glass, they'll see what their table number is. So I got these made for everybody um, and then they can take them with them. It's like, you know, it has their name on it. So I'm glad it actually came. I'm going to email them and tell them thank you so much for getting me here on time. But yeah, I didn't need to go get the super glue, but I think I'm just going to pack this and take it with us because you never know. If something breaks, some I don't know. Just I'm gonna just keep it. Um, and then I had to get some more packing tape because we do have a neon sign, and we are checking it, but we're gonna have to bring it back. And so I was like, oh, we're gonna need some more tape to tape the box back up on our way back. So got that tape. So um, yeah, that was all that I had to do. I need to go find something to eat. I couldn't even go because I was like, I got a piece so bad. And one thing about me, I don't like using public restrooms. Um, it just was, yeah. And plus my nail salon that I'm going to for my toes is right down the street from my house. So I was like, let me just go home, use the bathroom, check the mail, all of that stuff. So I think I want to get something to eat from um, this little coffee shop down the street. Because like I said, I have been trying to eat healthy and just like keep my body hydrated and just really be good before we leave um, because I know this weekend is going to consist of a lot of drinking, a lot of sun, so I need to make sure my body is hydrated um, and just not a whole lot of sleep either because, you know, we're just going to be on go mode. So, yeah, I need to figure out what I'm going to eat. I want to do like a salad some I don't know um yeah I don't know let me figure out what I'm gonna eat and then I'll be back okay yeah so I decided on kava so I went ahead and placed my order so I'm about to go pick it up I may just eat there just to kill some time um and then we'll go to my pedicure appointment which is at 4 15. Sorry for all the construction noise in the background. <sighs> Y'all, it is freaking hot out here. You know that part of the <laughs> Air from these planes and lights over 122 million parts of the seven forecast. John, you're all Monday hot out there today, Mons. Yep. Yeah, no, 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 no. 
got a legal. Huh? Right here. Right here. I got him. I'm going to put it right here. So you want me or yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta do it for the vlog. Mm. Listen, I, I didn't realize that that's what you did for like work. I was like, oh, okay. It's not my full time job, but no? I get it's a side job. Trying to resist you, but it can get away. Palm trees, beach views, or the narrow day. All I wanna hear is in a vision's on replay. Sit right next to you. Yeah. I try not to show how I feel about you, think it was your way. But we don't really want to, I just wanna get away. Sit right next to you. Official, official. Let me see your ring. Guys, why are you looking? At me? <laughs> um, we actually about to drop cash off at the pet hotel um, because we leave out first thing in the morning, so we had to drop him off. We let him come to the legal ceremony, um, but now it's time to drop our kid off. And Snap. Sean is acting like a very sad parent dropping his kid off on their first day of school. I just said we need to give him a snack. Before but he start. didn't want to. He wanted me to. He wants me to go in there with him because he doesn't want to. He doesn't want Cash to cry, and he doesn't want to cry. Well, I didn't want to go in there at all at first, but I figured if we both go in, he won't feel like we both. Get to My go. makeup is all smeared. But yeah, we have to drop the kid off and then go have dinner before we Cash, head out in the morning. My hair, don't mind my hair, y'all. It's hot out here. All my little curls fell. Cash is ready. He ready to go outside, but he don't know what's about to happen. <laughs> so, we're about to go drop our dog off, and I'll check back in with y'all when we go to dinner. My makeup literally looks atrocious because we were crying. Sean started crying first, and then, of course, it made me cry. So, my makeup looks crazy.